Oh, oh, I got a B. Sorry, I really should have thought about this before. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, I really should have thought about that before I started streaming. But what I'd like to do is I'm about to, I just cleaned up all my tools, sanitized them. I'm ready to groom, start grooming the dog. But <clears throat> I'm going to make some Thanksgiving bows for her. So she, she looks really nice and cute for Thanksgiving. And I figured while I, you know, make the bows, since I got to make them anyways, I'll just stream it. Oh, get away from me. There's a bee flying around. Hey, what's up? Good morning, Nikki. So hopefully there's a good view. You can see this. So what I'm going to do, I just went to um, Joanne the, uh, yesterday, actually, and bought this ribbon. So this is just a regular, I think this was $3.99. And let me put that in the trash bag. This was $2.99. So this is a brown paw print. And I'm going to put it on top of this orange um, wider ribbon. And I'm gonna show you how I make the doggy bow ties whenever I don't order them. I usually like to just order them from people um, because, you know, it does take time out to make them myself. But I get so busy is that sometimes I forget to order um, the bows beforehand and Thanksgiving is already here upon us. And I don't have time to wait, so I, cause I have, you know, a female dogs, two of them to do today. Um, sometimes I have to go ahead and just make the bows myself rather than order them online. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab the edges here. See how there's a little fray there? It's a little bit frayed on the edge. So I'm going to make a clean cut, 45 degree angle. All right? There we go. So that way it's nice and clean, right? So I'm going to make a little clean 45 degree angle cut right there, right? And then, and that's how it's going to look put together. And then, I'm going to go ahead and fold it over so I know how long it's going to be. So right about there is a good length, right? And you just want to make a little loop. So right about there is a good length because then you fold that over and that's going to be the bow. So I'm just going to make a mental note like right about there. Make sure this is even again. Okay, right about there. So now, I'm just gonna cut it. So it's even, right there. There we go, so we have one for one side. And now I'm gonna cut another one for the other side. Try to make this fast here. And this, the second one's pretty easy because all you got to do is just put it against it. Oh man. Put it against it. Oh man. There we go. There we go. And go down and then cut this. There we go. So now we have all four pieces. <clears throat> okay. So now we can put this away. And now I'll show you how I fold them. So I like to use two rubber bands because it just makes it really nice and strong hold. So I, I use two rubber bands. And here's what we're going to do. So you grab the piece and then you make a little, um, like almost like a, the breast cancer symbol. You just make it like that. Just cross the two pieces over and then you put this side down and you just hold it with the back of your finger. See that? So that's going to be the shape. And then I place the rubber bands in front, get my little hemostat things here go under the rubber bands, go under, and then go around to the back. And then on the back side, you want to flip the front part over this. See that? So on the back side, you have both the rubber band pieces on the top and bottom. Then 
this is why I like having a hemostat, because you could just flip one side under, right? And then I pull it out. Like that. Sorry, and my fingers covering it like it's a magic trick or something. It's not a magic trick, I'm just uh, trying to adjust the rubber band piece here. But yeah, you just pull through the back here. But while you're pulling, you also have to make sure the rubber band piece kind of goes together like that. So now there we go. You got the Thanksgiving bows, bow right there. See that? Okay, so then, Oh wow, I don't know how that happened. For some reason. Okay, so we'll just do it again. For some reason it, it caught a little bit weird. So okay, so I'm just gonna go from the top front. Go behind, right? And then put this bottom part around it, but then open it up. There we go. So we can get one half, uh, you know, get it around one side. So then I can pull it out from the back side. See that? And just kind of work that rubber band piece. And now it's tight on the back. See that? Okay. Sorry, I was looking for a place to put it, and I just figured I'll just, just to keep the shape, you know, just to hold it. If you have a pen that, you know, pens work nice, straws, fold it in half, but I'm just gonna use the bottom <laughs> handle of the nail clipper. Okay, so one more time. So we're gonna grab this, loop it around, right? So that it, it gets that little crisscross shape there, right? So loop it like that. Okay. And then fold that part down and hold it with it. See that? And then you put the rubber bands in front here. Get the your hemostats and go around the back, right? Then you take this bottom the bottom part of the rubber band, put it down there. And then make sure you loop it around just one of them like that, right? That way I can catch this, pull it around and out. And I've seen, I've seen some groomers just do this with their fingers, with just their hands. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you got crafty fingers, you know? Like, shoot, I need, I need some sort of like tool to help me because my fingers are not nimble. But there you go. See? Oh. So this looks a little bit long or short. There we go. So you can adjust it a little bit after you shape it. There we go. So there's the second bow. There we go. Oh, can you see it? Well, there we go. So that's the second one. And then as you as you keep it onto something to hold its shape, then later on when I'm when I'm ready to use it, there we go. When I'm ready to use these, then that it'll this back piece here, the rubber band piece, it'll actually kind of stay there and hold its shape. It won't unravel, um, you know, just by giving it time to sit. There we go. So I got my two bows ready to go, and I want to start grooming my dog, or my client's dog, I should say. <laughs> Oh wow, people are watching. Awesome. Well, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, email me. I'll try. Like I said again, I'm so busy these days because I'm, you know, just it's a one man show. I'm doing everything. So I'll try to get back to the emails. Um, talents galore. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Awesome. Hopefully that, that helps if you wanted to make your own bows for Thanksgiving or Christmas or whenever. You know, just go to the craft store. I went to Joanne. Um, like I said, the bigger one was $3.99, the smaller one was $2.99. You know less than 10 bucks and you know i have plenty of material to make enough bows for everybody for thanksgiving anyways thank you so much for watching hopefully that helps see you guys